Hello dear subscribers and guests of the channel, the cold came, and all the shortcomings of the factory masks were immediately revealed. Firstly, the masks immediately began to condense moisture, and secondly, when using them, the lenses of the glasses began to fog up. Considering the above and the existing developments in the field of protective equipment, I have designed a respirator that is devoid of most of the known drawbacks. The main difference between this respirator and my previous designs are these two cartridges. This is what the inhaled air cartridge looks like in a section. This is a splash cap. This is the first HEPA filter. This is a foam filter. And this is the second HEPA filter. The inlet valve membrane is located under the protective disc. The exhaled air cartridge differs only in the location of the membrane, which is located under the splash cap. A complete list of materials used in their sizes is in the description of this video. There you will also find a drawing of a template for making a valve. To make the cartridge bodies, I first cut off the threaded parts from the plastic milk bottles. Then I sanded the ends of the blanks and glued them with cyacrine glue. During the curing of the glue, I placed the blanks under the press. I made a template for winding the fixing rings from a cork from a liter plastic bottle. By varying the length of the paper tape, you can precisely adjust the outer diameter of the retaining ring. To ensure the required strength and moisture protection, I impregnated the paper rings with PVA glue. At room temperature, the adhesive takes 24 hours to dry. I used a template from the printer to mark the holes in the milk bottle caps. You can use the brad point drill bits to prevent large burrs. Even the smallest burrs should be removed though. This is a protective disc for the intake valve. The hole positions in this disc must match the holes in the cover. We can make the splash-proof cover of the outlet valve from a cap from a 5-liter plastic bottle. This cap also requires coaxial mounting holes. I made the valve membranes from a smooth surgical glove. Now you can see the process of assembling the exhaust valve through which the exhaled air passes. For assembly, I used screws with a diameter of 2.5 millimeters. But you can choose the screws at your disposal. And this is the intake valve assembly. The inhaled air passes through it. As you can see, the valves differ only in the presence of a splash-proof cover. This is how these valves work. This ring serves to increase the reliability of fastening the cartridge to the respirator body. This is how you can resize the foam filters. Let's proceed to the final assembly of the cartridges. We fix the first HEPA filter with a paper ring. This design of the cartridge makes it easy to change filters and disinfect. With the help of two more of the same rings, we fix the foam filter. And in the end we can install another HEPA filter. Although in an exhalation cartridge, it is possible to reduce the number of filters to two by removing one of the HEPA filters. After installing the grids and valves, the cartridges are ready for use. I made the respirator body from a 3-liter plastic water bottle. 
I melted the holes for the sound membrane and cartridges using preheated thin-walled tubes. I used the cap and thread from a 6-liter plastic bottle to attach the sound membrane. This steel plate allows you to adjust the shape of the respirator for the best fit to the nose. I used a stapler to further secure this plate. I fixed the polyethylene foam pad with double-sided tape. This elastic pad ensures a secure fit of the respirator body to the face. It is necessary to cut off the gasket with a certain margin so that a gap does not form at the junction. You can adjust the shape of the respirator in the same way as the shape of a regular face shield. I used a silicone sealant to seal the sound membrane mount. It retains its elasticity even after curing. A polypropylene membrane provides high-frequency sound transmission and significantly improves speech intelligibility. Mounting and dismantling cartridges is not a big hassle. So it is advisable to change the filters at least once a day and disinfect all surfaces with ethyl alcohol. And this is how I mark the places where the elastic bands are attached. Neodymium magnets make the mask easy to operate. And this attachment allows you to easily adjust the tension of the elastic bands. These are the respirators I make for my family. I wish you good health. See you on the channel.